Another 3 million gallons of sewage was spilled into Lake Champlain last night, and officials are explaining what went wrong again. Local 22's Haley Boulay has been following this story since really the first storm of the season. For 58 minutes Tuesday night, another massive amount of partially treated sewage was released into Lake Champlain, this time caused by a faulty computer that didn't operate during a thunderstorm. It was the last phase of the disinfection that was not triggered uh, because of the failure of this logic control system. But by the time the faulty computer was discovered, it was already too late. The three billion gallons were already headed to the lake. Chapin Spencer, Burlington's director of public works, joined Mayor Moreau Weinberger and the head of the water department in explaining why there has been nearly five million gallons of sewage spilled in less than two months and what they are going to do about it. The Department of Public Works is going to immediately devote every available resource that it has, including hiring outside experts, to fully investigate the causes of the recent mechanical discharges and to immediately implement what fixes uh, we are aware of to prevent to prevent them from happening again. Mayor Weinberger also put the water department on deadline, saying he wants a plan to upgrade the system by December 1st. Take the um, analysis and planning that they were already working on uh, regarding um, needed upgrades for this facility. Um, they need to complete that work by December 1st. The wastewater treatment facility is nearly 25 years old and in desperate need of upgrading. But the Public Works Department also says they are going to look into how they are staffing the treatment facility when there is rain in the forecast. That would then put us all on alert. Um, and if, if we had in that day not decided to have somebody on overnight, they could immediately be paged to come in. It's going to be a long fix, but city officials promise transparency throughout the process. In Burlington, Haley Boulay, Local 22 News. As of right now, you should be aware Blanchard Beach, Blodgett Access Area, the Coast Guard Boat Launch, and Perkins Pier are being tested for higher levels of bacteria. Although nothing has been detected as of now, individuals with weakened immune systems should use caution.